Hello, I'm Nancy from Simply Living Farm. I know it's difficult to imagine from looking at the background and the snow and the mountains, but this is a time of year that it's good to start thinking about what you're going to be doing as far as gardening. So back behind us is our gardening shed, and that was built probably over a hundred years ago. And then two years ago, my son and my husband rebuilt that. And uh, back behind that, you can see in the fenced area, is our vegetable garden. So it's snow covered now, but we do have two compost bins there, as well as raised beds. But that's not the topic. I just wanted to start out here to show you this. So now we'll go to the greenhouse and then to the garden room to talk about planting the vegetable garden. Hi, this is our mountain home. And um, we're, the greenhouse is around back, so we're on our way there, but I just had to show you that beautiful view of Nason Ridge. Hello, this is the greenhouse. So a couple days ago, we had a warm, relatively warm, sunny day. So got out here with bleach and scrubbed everything squeaky, squeaky clean. And uh, the bleach, we added just a little bit of detergent and then we hosed everything down really well. Because greenhouses do collect slime and molds and mildews and fungus and bacteria. So we wanted to make sure that we start off with a nice clean system before bringing in the new plants. We also uh, pulled out the water spigots from here, which are look like this. And we flushed this system, made sure that the, all the water was flushed out evenly. And then we pulled all these out and we soaked them in gasoline in case there was any corrosion. And we'll be putting all those back up. So probably within a week or two, we'll be planting things in pots and putting them in here. We will be having heating mats and then the water here on both sides. So many things can be started in a greenhouse. It gives it a boost before, the, before you plant it in the vegetable garden. Planting a garden, what I always like to do is review what was done the previous year. And so I just kind of keep a little book like this. And so I'm reviewing the vegetables. And I have rough categories that had great crops, fair crops, and poor crops. And so it's, it just helps me to remember what we did, what did well, and what uh, to maybe move into a different spot or what to not try again because I always experiment with different things. And then I also like to plan. I write out what the garden is and I just do it on a little scrap of paper so I know the beds that I have. And we have raised beds. Here we have to um, deal with everything from the voles to the raccoons to the cougars to the bear to the deer and so quite an assortment of different animals. So we have to create quite a fortress and that can be another video if people are interested. But so after I have the rough beds drawn, another thing that I like to review is companion gardening. And this is different plants that like to be planted by other plants. It's a symbiotic relationship. And so what I did this year in planting the garden is I thought about things that, that would be most useful to us. And through the years, we've decided not to grow some things that were high maintenance or too much work or didn't seem to work out with the space that we had. And then I also like to think about things that did particularly well and that we enjoy eating. So with companion gardening, there are many things that like to grow with other things. So I have a list here of the different things and I won't g get into it, but for example, beans like to grow with carrots, cauliflower, beets, cucumbers, and cabbage. And so what I did in planting the vegetable garden is I thought about the different things that, that we like to grow and I paired them with the things that they're very good companions with. And uh, so for the most part, I tried doing that. And then I also, at this time of year, I, I take an inventory of what we have. So I did an inventory of our different seeds and I organized them. And I also organized them as far as what I'm going to be planting in the greenhouse. And so we'll be uh, planting some different things in the greenhouse. And so this is for our vegetable garden. And I also, we have perennial and herb garden and rose beds. And so we'll also be working on that. So uh, stay tuned. We will uh, show you some shots 
of the actual planting in the greenhouse with the plants in it, as well as the vegetable garden at different phases. So thank you for your time and attention. Mm -hmm.